Hello, this is John Dillon McCarthy, and uh, we're here at Ben Old Cross Croom Confirm. We're milking 200 British Friesian cows here on it. We're a spring calving herd on a grass based system. Labour was a huge issue going forward, as it is in most dairy farms, and anyway, especially labour seems to be the problem. Now, you know, in the last couple of years, it has been no problem to gain numbers of cows but addressing the milking of them has always been a challenge. If we roll back to maybe 2009 and 10, we looked at the robots as an option. I just felt that they were very restraining as regards growing a herd. We threw the herringbone scenario and we threw the, ro the rotary scenario into it. We felt that the argument was very one-sided onto the rotary. We knew then what we were going shopping towards. When we initially started looking um, at all the brands that were there, it soon became apparent that Dairy Master had something more desirable, an efficient service, a backup service to anything that would go wrong. It was tailor-made to me. I was able to spec it to full spec, and I was able to work back from that then on what we needed, what we didn't need, and what was going to give us efficiency of output. They were very helpful and uh, I think it was told as it should have been. I was given the information and I never felt pushed or I never felt persuaded in any way that we needed something that we didn't need. The Dairy Master engineer had been in contact with us and had done several site visits and we were all kind of set for a, a date for installation and literally it just mushroomed overnight. So yeah, we're down to the finishing stages of it. Interesting times ahead, interesting times. On this particular rotary, we've gone for ACRs, cluster flush, uh, there's a dump line on it. Basically a complete feed yield package with the, with the parlor if we ever so desire to use it to its full potential. We've tried to future-proof the whole job as best we can. You can keep upgrading, yes, you can add on to it. All I have to do is drop the ramp on this one, like, you know, and just bring the cows to it. Alva would be fully behind me on this one. I, I'd have no doubt. And look, please God, that's a small bit of lady look now and it'll be, it'll be good. Well, I'd say she was definitely happier that it was going ahead because I never stopped talking about it. The one thing I have learned about them, anywhere where they are, they've future-proofed themselves completely. Like, I mean, while robots and while herring bones have extended and they've got more efficiently to a point. We might gain back a small bit of control of the herd of cows that we have. Yeah, we just felt that you spend all your time either milking cows and that, that to me wasn't what it was all about. The big benefit to this is cows are going to give an extra 60 hours a month of grass. Not alone what it's going to give us back as regards a lifestyle of whatever we decide to do, but you know, it certainly should be future-proof to make life a lot easier. So that, 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 that is really going to be um, a, a game-changer for us. And that to me is just, that's invaluable, like, well, sure, sky's the limit.